everyone and welcome back to the battle guide I suspect you've been waiting for. Dej the Dark Lord is here, he is the latest ultra and he is one hell of a pain to defeat. If you're new around here make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and of course leaving the video a like. So as always I will go over the battle notes, the strategy and of course the setup I would recommend you currently use for doing this ultra. As we said he is really quite annoying to defeat and it will take you a fair few goes at it especially if you're not too good at the plate mechanic but we'll touch on that a bit more in just a moment when I show you the actual completed run that we did. But first of all, the battle notes because these bits are very, very impotent. So, 6.5 million HP. You must use the designated plate for protection. Again, we will touch on that, don't you worry. Heals cannot be used. I've put that with a little star because there's a caveat in that, but we'll talk about that. Regains 500k HP upon player death. I really would recommend when you're doing this fight, just ignore your heals totally. That's the way I do it in the demonstration that will show you in a moment. But let's move on and talk about the all-important setup. You're going to need two Chaos Avengers, an Arch Paladin, a Lord of Order. Everyone must be using Health Vamp and you can, if you so choose, Choose, use the scroll of life still and any potions that you may require. The main strategy for this battle is all about when Dage comes out and says carry behind your meager protection spells. All players must then go and stand on the glowing plate and it is also advised that Chaos Avenger does not use its fourth skill unless you're happy with how to stack the glass and Arch Paladin and Lord of Order do not use your heal abilities otherwise you'll end up nuking your whole team. In case you're interested about where you get the scrolls they're over at Arkham Grove and equally potions you can get from Alchemy Academy. But what we're going to do now is jump straight into the run where we did defeat Dave's Dark Lord and go over everything you need to know. The easiest way to do this is you're going to want your two Chaos Avengers to stand in the middle of the two plates. It means they can easily get to either one and shouldn't have any trouble there in regards to wiping. The only two players that need to go up and actually physically attack Dave right next to him is your Lord of Order and Arch Padding because that's the only way you're going to be able to get your health vamp to work. And really oddly I actually found it easier to get on the plates when I was up there. Other things I recommend doing is hiding other the players so you don't actually click on people that are trying to run to the same plate and just minimize your chat box out of the way because you don't really need to worry about that. Now this is the glowing plate I'm talking about. You'll see the center circle glow and then either the one in the bottom left or the bottom right. Whichever one of those is glowing you need to make sure you're standing on. You have three seconds to get on that plate before you're dealt 4,000 damage. So Chaos Avenger you will get away with it once or twice but the Lord of Order and Arch Paladin will end up wiping and that is a big problem. You do not want your supports to go down. It can happen and I will actually show you in this run what happens when I go down right near the end. I was really panicked but you know what we got for it and everything went okay in the end. I would strongly recommend whoever is running Lord of Order to actually go ahead and get the scroll. I tend to use that as soon as it becomes available in the fight or when my health is getting ever so slightly too low and I'm just thinking oh am I actually going to get one tap by Dage in a minute. So just keep your eye on that because that is the main thing to think about. You will notice that Dage will actually heal himself and there are certain points this fight. This is why I put a star in that Arch Paladin Lord of Order can actually use their heals and the same Illusion Revenant on that fourth skill if you're deciding to run that class instead of two Chaos Avengers but I would only recommend doing that if you're actually really in on it with this fight and know exactly what you're doing because it's just not worth the risk we didn't bother with heals at all through the whole fight and we got through it absolutely fine and obviously no one died until near the end but as I said we'll come on to that in a little bit as you can see we just keep on going through for Lord of Order you just want to be going two four and five and then of course using that sixth when you're actually able to avoid three because that is the heal on this class I think Arch Paladin's heal is skill four or maybe it's three as well. Don't quote me on that. You'll know. Just read the description on it. If totally out of the blue, you suddenly get dealt five, six thousand lots of damage, then you know someone has accidentally gone along nuked you all by using their heal ability. We're now entering into the sort of middle stage of this battle. It carries on exactly the same. Nothing really changes. So we're just going to zoom it up for the time being. Otherwise, we're going to be sat here watching this for some time. But you can just see me keep running to him from the glowing plate. And that is literally all you need to do. Just make sure as soon as it comes up, your trigger finger is nice and happy and you get on that you will be absolutely fine. Now we get into a very very interesting point and this is why you should never ever give up because we are under the 2 million HP mark at this point and I'm thinking to myself I'm quite nervous inside we're gonna get this fight done nice and easy and round it off however me being me and the Lord of Order I ended up actually dying on my way to one of the plates I think it is the next rotation it's a battle that needs so much concentration I just started daydreaming and then as a result I ended up dying and I thought oh no I've just cost my whole team this run 
But luckily, everyone carried on, and this is why it's very important. One of the ways it's different to the ultras we've had before is you are actually able to come back from that sort of situation if it does arise. In the end, it wasn't just me that died, and there was actually two of us that went down, so we had just two of our teammates defeating Dage at the same time, but that's why it's crucial to have two of your Chaos Avengers, because they are absolute beasting tanks when it comes to this, and they are really incredibly useful to have. Dage does, at this point, end up going into a little heal cycle, so he gets himself back up to around the 2 million mark, but we're back into our rhythm by this point, and again, you're just able to go through using 4, 5, and 2 if you're your Lord of Order, avoiding the heals on all the other classes, as this one doesn't actually really require so much DPS as opposed to Champion Dracov, you are able to focus more on the plates. That is the real important mechanic here. So if you have to just bring yourself back in, especially near the end of the fight, to think about the plate a bit more and do a bit less damage sedation, just go for it because that isn't going to cause too much of an issue. Of course, we get into another hill cycle, then it could. So don't lack off on the damage too much, but you do have a little bit of respite in there if you do need it. Keep up with the scrolls, again, especially if you are one of the supports, that does really help you out. And then you can just keep on going through the plates. And as you can see, we are getting back into that last little bit of the battle now. And this time, nothing actually goes wrong. We managed to go real nice and smooth. And I tell you what, my heart was absolutely thumping at this point. I think it's important to mention for anyone who does not health vampires, it's an awe enhancement you can get from Valencia at the museum. And in order for it to take effect on your weapon, you need to make sure you re-log into the game. Otherwise, that won't happen. And of course, if you've not got the health vamp on, you are going to be in trouble because there's no other way you're going to easily be able to heal. To be honest, health vamp is literally your saviour in this fight. So just make sure you're using it. If someone in your team isn't, then they're going to be causing you a lot of grief. So just force them to go and put it on their weapon and then you'll be absolutely fine. And as you can see now, we're down to the last couple hundred thousand and before long, Dage will be going down. Just make sure you don't rush it. Still get on the plate. There'll be nothing worse than wiping at the end. I'd say as soon as you're below 4 million HP, you might as well just carry on with the fight and try and regain it if you can, if any of your team do wipe out. But anything above that, you're best just resetting and going out again. And then you can tell everyone that you love them because that's how happy you're feeling in that exact moment. So there you go, folks. That is how you can defeat defeat Dage. I was going to say that's how you can easily defeat Dage, but nothing about this is easy. It does take a lot of runs, even if you're using this method, but just get there, take it nice and steady with the plates, keep your main focus on them, and eventually you should be able to get this done. You do get five insignias for this, so that's quite a few, and that's about that. So guys, thank you all very much for watching. Leave the video a like, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you again incredibly soon.